Hi, welcome back. Is it a way to edit your JMeter test plan using your favorite browser? Or are you looking to create JMeter test plan instead of using the legacy JMeter user interface? Hi, welcome back. Are you looking for a tool which will enable you to create or edit the existing JMeter test plan using your favorite browser? So instead of using the legacy JMeter user interface, now you can use your browser to create or edit JMeter test plan using Blockly JMX tool. Just visit jmeter-plugins.org the top right you could see a new icon popped up called online jmx editor or you can click on this jmx editor link which will take you to this jmx editor the tool name is called blockly jmx if you go to help and click on about you can read about blockly jmx so it is a two dimensional blockly based builder so this blockly has been developed by google just visit uh, developers.google.com slash blockly where you can see it's a, a library which will help you to build the uh, visual programming editors so here you can see uh, the language javascript python php etc and in the left side you can see uh, the logics or loops whichever you want you just drag and drop and you'll be able to run the program so similarly this uh, blockly jmx leverages this blockly to build your jmeter test plan so the vertical dimension reflects the uh, test execution flow and horizontal dimension will be used for your scoped components so this will not replace the jmeter uh, it is a, another alternative in case if you don't have JMeter installed in your machine due to some restrictions. So that is the major uh, main use case behind Blockly JMX. If you're worried about security and privacy, you can read about this paragraph. Basically, uh, your JMX file, whenever you are working in this editor, there is no network traffic sent between the browser and the server. So the data stays within the browser session itself. Only the uh, usage statistics that might be uh, sent to the server. Because you can see here, uh, the only data that Blockly JMX sends to its server is the statistics about which element you've been using in your JMX file. So make sure you read this disclaimer, uh, copyright, uh, other stuffs. So currently it is in beta and uh, some of the things might not work as expected but if you have any issues you can definitely contact the uh, developer or the team uh, using this uh, support forum uh, google groups link okay now let us dive into this editor how you can use this to build your uh, jmeter test plan or how you can edit the existing jmeter test plan whenever you visit it will always create a new testplan.jmx so it has very simple uh, file menu uh, only you can see there are four menus file edit view and help very typical uh, menu and also the uh, uh, iconic representations of each action just beneath the file menu on the left side you can see there are two sections one is the flow elements and the scope elements so right now only there are uh, six uh, plus three nine uh, different types of elements you can drag and drop so whenever you start a new uh, test plan by default you can see there is a test plan uh, element has been already added which you cannot uh, remove uh, or add more because it is against the uh, rules so you will start with the test plan this is the root element and whenever you click on this test plan element it will display the properties of the test plan on the right side just like in JMeter. So here you can see the properties like uh, teardown on shutdowns, check, check mark is on, 
and serialized third groups, uh, functional mode, etc. And uh, top right, you can see uh, the test plan has been enabled. So if you don't want to uh, test plan element to be enabled, you can always uncheck this box and this element will be grayed out. So by this way, you can enable or disable the particular element in your test plan. Okay, the first step is to add the uh, third group. So you have to just drag and drop. So right now, what you can do is just add the third group and uh, inside the third group, you can have the uh, sampler. Okay, so now you can uh, hear there's a click sound. I'm not sure whether you hear there's a click uh, so that you'll know the element has been attached to the particular uh, parent element. Okay, now let me add this third group to the test plan by dragging and dropping into it. And inside the test, test plan, I can add the listener to my test plan. And for the third group, I can add the uh, uh, default uh, uh, HTTP request defaults by using the config element. So inside the config element, I'm going to add HTTP request defaults. Okay. So but this way you will be attaching the uh, elements under the scope elements. For example, I want to add a post processor. So what I'll do is I'll just drag and drop inside this sampler and what type of post processor I need. So in this case, let us go with the regular expression extract. I just click on it and here you have to fill the details. Similarly, let us fill the HTTP request default. So in the domain, I can say uh, example.com and the port is uh, nothing blank and the protocol is HTTPS. Okay, but inside the sampler, I can have the path as example and expression extractor is match number is one, reference name is uh, get title and regular expression is title and the expression and the title here. The template is dollar one dollar and use header is false and the default is error. Okay, so like this way you can keep on adding. So here you can see the listeners grayed out, right? So let us select the listener type as universal tree and let us be everything as default. Okay, so to zoom in, zoom out, you can use your scroll uh, in, uh, scroll out, or you can hold your uh, control key uh, while scroll up and down. So this way you can uh, scroll. And also you can see, you can navigate by holding and uh, holding your left key and you can just uh, pan around. So this is the uh, a very simple intuitive user interface you have. So the idea is simple. The vertical is to uh, for your execution flow and the horizontal is for the scoped elements. And you can keep on adding uh, like how you design your uh, typical Jimmy test plan. So the drawback here is uh, you cannot replay. That is one thing. And uh, you cannot record. So it's not a record and playback uh, editor here. It is not like an add-on like a blaze meter or uh, any other add-on where you'll be able to record and save it as JMX. No, it will not work like that. And uh, it is in beta. Of course, you will see a lot of issues. You can definitely uh, raise that in the support forum. And the options are very, uh, whatever the essential stuffs we need, everything is here. Uh, I believe it will improve further uh, when the users are uh, started using it and reporting issues and continuously imp improvement will be made to this tool, I hope. Okay, now let us save this and uh, it will prompt you to save uh, this as .jmx and just click on uh, save file, okay. Okay, now let me invoke the jmeter in my uh, machine. Okay, now let us open the downloaded file. So name is new test plan dot JMX. Let us open this. 
and here you can see the details okay so let us go back to the editor and something is missing which is the uh, regular expression extracted but other than that you can see the example here and the request defaults example.com here let us see why it is not saved this particular regular expression extractor okay i think that might be a bug probably i can raise a ticket with the uh, support forum because the regular expression extractor should be uh, available under the http request but it is working when i just add it to the http request defaults so uh, which i am not supposed to uh, generate so let us see but yeah if you want to try definitely i urge you to uh, explore this tool definitely it will be very useful in case if you don't have jmeter installed in your machine uh, due to some restrictions or uh, policy but uh, definitely this tool will uh, help you a lot so thanks for watching have a great day